Now you are probably already familiar with what a footer is. It adds additional information to the bottom of a page, a document, or a slide. And footers can be anything from general information to dates to page numbers. All of that hap can happen within the PowerPoint environment. But how do I add a, a footer to a slide? Well, I'm on the main slide right now, and let's say I wanted to add a footer just to this one slide. I'm going to go to my Insert tab, and on my Insert tab, as I go across all my different groups, you see a text group, and in there I have headers and footers. Here I can add a date and time, I can add a slide number, or I can add my own footer, text that says anything I want it to say. And maybe I want to say confidential for Aramar employees only. Now I have two options at the bottom. I can apply, which will apply it only to this slide or I can apply it to all slides. If I apply it to all slides, notice it put the footer up here at the top. Now, I said a footer is typically at the bottom. In PowerPoint, there are no headers. Everything is a footer, and you can grab the placeholder and move it anywhere that you like. And individually, I could edit each one of these on the individual slides to change the font, change the color, change the location. Now I'm going to undo that and put it back where it was because I want to show you how to change all of them. If I go to my view and into my slide master, I can modify either on an individual layout, in that case we were in title and content, and I can grab that footer box here at the top and move it down and it would just move on all the title and contents. But let's do it on the master. If I grab the footer from the top and drag it down to the bottom, it's going to move the footer on just the title slide or on new slides. So let me close it out and show you what it looks like. Because each one of these, this is a title and content, but it's still at the top. This one, slide three, has it at the bottom. And this is also, well, this is a title only slide. So this pulled directly from the master and the title and content didn't. And so there are going to be cases where you need to change more than one layout. If I go back to the View tab and back into my Slide Master, you can see that on some it changed and others it didn't. The main one that it didn't is my title and my title and content. Now, even though I already moved, I can move these ones as well, and I can change the font. When I change the font, and I'm going to do it on the master slide, just because it's easier, I can make it bold, I can change the color, again, everything as I normally would through the Home tab. Maybe add a little shadow and go through, and because, even though it, this one's not moved, it still picked up all the formatting from the master. And so this allows me to quickly and easily make changes to the font, to the color, to whatever I choose to make changes to on the master or on individual layouts so that it works for the way that I need to work instead of doing it on individual slides. Closing it out through the Slide Master and close the Master View.
So now I have it at the bottom of my individual slides, making it easy for me to make changes.